Hey YouTube, this is the Dutch Sandwich. I wanted to do a how-to video on how to make a hi-fi for $1,000. Um, I wanted to start off with the speakers. These speakers here are the Pioneer FS-52s. They're the floor standing version and um, they were designed by Andrew Jones who also works for Pioneer's High End Line TAD and he made these speakers along with a pair of bookshelves, a uh, center, a subwoofer, all kinds of other different models but tons of other people have reviewed these speakers. They are absolutely incredible. They are right now $200 if you have an Amazon Prime membership and uh, they're just extremely, extremely good. The texture that they put on uh, music is just really, really nice. They've got incredible bass. You don't need a subwoofer with them unless you're um, using them in a home theater application. I've got this speaker with the grill off so you can see the drivers, but they're concentric drivers, which Andrew Jones is kind of famous for. And, um, and then the, the cabinets are curved, so you can see they're, they're not, you know, they're, he tries not to have any parallel surfaces on the sides of these uh, speakers, and they're just absolutely insane how good they are for $200. Um, so if you look around, though, you can get these for $150. So that's how I'm going to spend, that's how I spent, I guess, $150 of my thousand dollar budget so moving on i'm going to start at the bottom of the rack here this is a tributaries t100 power conditioner and i, I had never heard of these uh power conditioners until my local shop turned me on to them and they're incredibly high quality they're uh, a company based out, out of florida and uh it's a power conditioner and a, a, a surge protector and so you've got a bunch of different uh, uh inputs on the back you've got eight and there's different ones for different uh, purposes. There's digital ones, ones for uh, analog amplifiers, and then you also have an outlet here in the front. There is a uh, USB stick, like a snake light thing that goes into there. So if you have this in a rack, it will light up and you can uh, illuminate your other components and just kind of see what's going on. So this this retails for 220 but if you look around, uh, occasionally you can find it on eBay used for like a hundred bucks. So that's what I'm kind of budgeting for this is for the, the perfect thousand dollar hi-fi spend a hundred dollars on a good uh, surge protector slash power conditioner you just don't want to take any chances with uh, with lightning or, or or power spikes or anything like that so I recommend this tributaries one but there's certainly other good brands out there um, so that would be definitely part of the budget this was my the biggest splurge for this thousand dollars is this NAD 356 BEE. This was designed by one of uh, NAD's co-founders, uh, co the guy that designed the original 3020 amp that uh, got rave reviews and they sold a bunch of. And it's just an incredible, incredible amp. Uh, retails for $800. It's 80 watts per channel. Uh, but if you do look around, you can get this for $500. Now this model, this specific one I have here, does not have the built-in DAC. The, the one with the deck will cost you probably an extra $100 or so. So you probably wouldn't be able to afford the CD player and still keep it under the $1,000 mark we're shooting for here. So for the purposes of staying under $1,000 for this system, this does not have the deck. This is just the standard 356BE, but it's uh, got a ton of power. You can see where the volume knob is. It's just, it's barely on and it's incredibly audible and, and good to go. One thing that I, had never noticed on high-end uh, integrated amplifiers or, or amplifiers for that matter um, and I wanted to just kind of show I have the remote here for the amplifier and if you hit the remote it actually turns the volume knob and I've never seen that before I've had I've had receivers before and um, and they never did that they you just turn the the knob and it's kind of ambiguous where the uh, the dial is and you turn the volume up on the remote and it just kind of turns it up without turning that up. So I just thought that was a pretty, pretty cool thing. And uh, forgive me if that's kind of childish, but I just, I'd never seen a, a piece of electronics do that before. You've got a, a binding post in the back for, for two different sets of speakers. If you have speaker A and a, a second different zone, tons of different inputs. Um, no phono input to my knowledge. So you'd have to use a phono preamp if you wanted to put a, a, a record player in your thousand dollar hi-fi. The last component here, uh, before we get to cables, is the uh, NAD515BEE, the CD player. So it's designed by the same co-founder, 
He came back. Uh, it's got a great, uh, you know, quick load to it. It, it ejects quickly. It sounds great. Uh, just simple to use and uh, you know if you look around on the forums and interviews with these guys they've got tons of spare parts land, uh, in stock so if, if this ever does break and I'm sure at some point something will break but you know that they have the the capability to service you service and, and keep this running for many many years to come so I just love the no frills looks to it and they put all the the money kind of into the internals of it all right moving on to the back and, and and price, I forgot this. Uh, the the this 515 has actually been discontinued and replaced with the 516. Those retail for 299, but you can typically find this for 150 dollars used. So right now we're at uh, 150 for this, 150 for the speakers. That's 300, 500 for the amp. That's 800, 900 with the 100 dollars for the used power conditioner slash surge protector, and then the last 100 dollars is for cabling. I have a AudioQuest set of interconnects here, uh, RCAs. Uh, I found these used. It's hard to rec it's hard to say what specific model they are, let alone recommend search out for a specific model on eBay or something like that used. You can find really nice um, pre-owned cables from high-end manufacturers on eBay all the time. You just kind of keep your eyes open. If you get frustrated and you just want to buy new, I'd recommend Blue Jeans cables. They're great. You can probably get a set of RCA interconnects that would make a, a, a run like this, like a three foot run uh, for around $31 if you don't get the TechFlex coating or 34 if you do, and then you just pay a couple bucks to ship it. So that's, now we're up to 930, 940, depending on what you get there. And then I was able to score a set of these really nice Zoo Mission speaker cables, and they are banana, terminated at this amplifier end, and then they are spade terminated here at the speaker end. And they, they're just ex incredibly nice. The package that they came in, I don't have it anymore, uh, but it just, it was presented really nicely. They had cleaning solution for the spades. If they were ever to get uh, tarnished over time, they gave you some polish to put on them to keep everything, um, you know, have a good contact surface between your your binding posts and your spades. Just the attention to detail, detail is really nice, and it's a nice thick gauge. It's got a nice uh, TechFlex uh, coating on it too. Just just uh, an incredibly nice cable, it, it made in America, and um, can't say enough good things. I, I looked recently before I made this video, and I think that they're now kind of crept up, and, and it's hard to find these for over $100. Now I spent, I think, $80 on these when I found these uh, for an eight foot length, but you know, if you can't find a, a, a high-end uh, used speaker cable to keep you under that $1,000, um, you can always go to Blue Jeans Cable or some other manufacturer and, and do that kind of thing, or, or just kind of be patient and look for the uh, the high-end brands that come up used, like Kimber Cable or, or AudioQuest or Analysis Plus or something like that. So, so anyways, uh, that's just an overview of my $1,000 Hi-Fi. Uh, it's a great setup if you're into CDs. Uh, it's just set up perfectly. Um, I'm going to also make another video kind of going through other options. So if you wanted to get a more expensive or, you know, different speaker where you could cut uh, your budget on the amplifier and amplifiers that are good at the 400, 300, 200, even $100 range. And so I'm going to go through and make other videos to kind of lay out a roadmap for if, if you buy this speaker or spend this much on speakers where the rest of your budget should go if you're spending a thousand dollars so i hope you enjoyed my video if you did please click like and we'll see you next time thanks for watching